Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a big bass. That's a big bass. Oh my god. And today we are exploring Williamsport, Maryland in the CNO Canal. There are a couple of ponds here that I've never fished before, and we're going to give it a go today to see, uh, see what comes of it. We're going to start with, just to see if there's anything in here, we're going to start with some bluegill presentations, um, and then we'll switch to bass. Come on, let's go. There's actually a little bit of current, believe it or not, in this thing. So what this, this used to be, what you can tell is this used to be actually the old CNO Canal, which was one of the main canal systems back before the United States was the United States, back in the colonial days, I believe it was George Washington that actually um, okayed the creation of this canal system that stretches all the way to D.C. from where we are in uh, Maryland. And it goes up much further, I think up past Hancock, Maryland. Um, and then bits and pieces of this are part of a national park, but also some of it has water, especially this part here. And I just, oh, I just had another one. Something's in here, but what is it? That's the thing, too, is like if you can't get bit on crappie gear, that also tells me that you're probably not going to get bit on a big, big bass tackle. Um, and that's not always the case, but I've seen it. It really helps you dial into what's in these little ponds and stuff. Because, you know, when I was younger, I would always go to ponds and fish. You know, I didn't have a boat growing up. And so whenever chance you get, you go to a pond and, and I would read the Bassmaster magazines and things like that. And you'd be like, all right. You know, they say to throw a, you know, 10 XD out there to catch the biggest one in the leg. You chuck one into your, you know, half acre pond. It's like, oh, you don't catch anything. Why? Well, you got to understand the size, what you, what you have going on there. Do you have a pond full of four, five, six pounders? Or is the max size in there a three? Which is still, you know, depending on where you are, is not a bad deal. <coughs> and that's when I was like, you know what? What if... Let me back down here. It's like, what if... Out of curiosity, you just use your, your, your bluegill stuff, your panfish stuff, and all of a sudden, what would happen is I get a better idea of what's living there, and then I could adjust my bass tackle. And that right there, guys, is huge. We're gonna make a move, and let's just, we're gonna walk this thing real quick and just kind of see how long this canal is. Oh my god, oh my god. That's a big bass. That's a big bass. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got four pound tests. I got four pound tests. Oh my god. Okay, they're bass in here. They're bass in here. I've got to land him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, I only have four pound tests. I only have four pound tests. Oh shit, no, this is this is two pound test. Oh crap, I forgot this is two. This is not my four. Oh shit. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Oh my god, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Oh my gosh. It's a smallmouth. Oh my god, it's a smallmouth. Oh, holy God. It's a small mouth. <laughs> On a little, little panfish bait. Oh my God. What are you doing in here, dude? Holy moly. Look at him. And this is, and I was just fishing for panfish to begin with. And I saw a couple and I cast it to it and out of nowhere he came. So what this tells me is they're probably hitting, I can't believe there's a freaking smallmouth in here. See ya. <sighs> That's freaking cool. That's really, really freaking cool. Oh, caught some goop. I don't know that counts for anything. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. So he was up a little bit higher. And plus it's like 450. So we're getting closer to like, got one. Number one bluegill. Dude, he choked that thing. Boy, he is tiny too. I don't even know how I'm going to show him off. Boy, he is tiny. 
you tell you, it's like it's like hard sometimes to <clears throat> constantly talk to yourself, but then once you catch one, man, it gets real easy to get yoked. Got another one. All righty, so there are bluegill in here, guys. That's number two. Should we even count this? Tell me in the comments below. Should we have like a size thing for the bluegill? Because these things are tiny. Look at him. Yeah. But you see, you kind of see probably what they're eating. There are a lot of small ones in here. That's for sure. I think my jig head might be shockingly too heavy. <clears throat> uh, that's about the end of it for today. Um, sadly, we only caught one bass. We did catch our three bluegill. Um, we ran out of time for today. Uh, I'm going to link everything in the description below where this is. This is the Williamsport Canal. Uh, GPS location, baits I used today. I want to give this place another chance. I think I'm going to come back here with, uh, with all of my normal equipment, and we're going to give this place a try. So, until next time, I'm Thomas Aarons of Aarons Bassing. We'll see you next time.